Yo, welcome back everybody to Brand Peach Lost Origin video, and today I'm going to be taking a look at my Mewtwo V Union Lost Zone deck. Now, you're probably like, Mewtwo V Union in the Lost Zone, how does that work exactly? Well, the logic behind the deck is the Lost Zone engine gets you a lot of cards in a turn, right? A lot of the time, the Lost Zone engine mills through your deck very, very fast. So the idea is using Comfy and Colrus gets you V Union pieces into your hand really easily, and you can easily discard them with Quick Ball, with Ultra Ball, and of course, with Galarian and Meow. And sometimes being able to spam Lost Zone lets you find Ultra Balls really quickly to use it to discard to find Mewtwo pieces as Ultra Ball does find Mewtwo. And then once you set up the Mewtwo in the discard pile, you can use Mirage Gate, which actually works with Mewtwo. So you can actually put Mewtwo into play and build it up in a single turn with Mirage Gate. That is the whole concept of this deck, is building up Mewtwo Union with Mirage Gate and getting it into play really fast as you're able to see a lot of cards in a lot of turns through Chorus and Kofi Spam, making it easy to find the pieces of Mewtwo as long as they're not prized. And if they are prized, you have the ability to like use Cram early on to get some prizes. You have Sableye. Sableye also combines pretty well with Mewtwo's Psy Explosion Attack in a matchup where you are playing into like a low HP Pokemon deck. And that's the idea of the deck is get Mewtwo to play very fast through Lost Zone Engine and build it up with Mirage Gate in one turn. So yeah, for the video, of course, you're sponsor Card Cavern TCG. As always, if you're ever looking for any PCGO pack codes, make sure to get them at Card Cavern. Card Cavern does sell codes online for the cheapest. So if you're looking for any set codes like Lost Origin, the main set, get them at Card Cavern. Or if you're looking to get any other older set or any other specific other PTCGO code out there, like Sleazer ETBs, get them at Card Cavern. If you need any codes at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help channel, help yourself out, and help our Card Cavern. So shout out to Card Cavern, check them out, and use code LDF if you get any codes. Also, make sure to go subscribe to the Shovel Squad down below. Every Monday, I do post a new video, and every Thursday, a new podcast episode goes live that I am helping to co-host. And uh, our newest podcast episode should be out now, so you definitely do not want to miss out on that. But yeah, let's take a look at the Mewtwo V Union Lost Zone deck. So yeah, V Union the Lost Zone. I think it's a good concept. Now, you could play this with the other V Unions also, like Pikachu and Greninja, but I want to start with Mewtwo because Mewtwo is considered the best V Union card. And Mewtwo can be pretty good against all Lloyd's Redux on the ladder too. Of course, that Psy Explosion attack is pretty good. And again, using Comfy, using Chorus, getting fast uh, V Union pieces in your hand to discard is really good. Of course, I am playing the Galarian Meowth to help me get there. We got the Concealed Cards to draw. Greninja is also pretty good in this deck as you can use Moonlight Shuriken to attack. It goes well with Mewtwo and also get you prizes if you happen to prize a piece of Mewtwo. I am still playing the one of Peonia. If we do happen to prize a Mewtwo V Union piece, we can try to find it with Peonia. The problem with Peonia is it never guarantees you the prize Mewtwo piece, which is why I'm not a fan of Peonia, but we're still going to play it anyways because it's still good. Getting early prizes with Cram and Greninja means that we have less chances of not hitting Mewtwo. If, say we have like four prizes left and we do Peonia, the chances we find the Mewtwo piece are usually not too bad. So that's why I like having the Peonia within the deck for that reason alone. We got Guru in the deck. Primary Wisdom is really good in Lost Zone decks. So you can use it to conserve a Chorus if you get Marnied. You can also use it to put energy back in the deck for Mirage Gate for Mewtwo, which is really nice. Um, alongside the double raw to get energy back in the deck. You could also play an energy recycler in the deck. I don't know what you would cut though, but an energy recycler is something that I also considered playing in here as it does get you energy back in the deck for Mirage Gate, which is a very, very, very important. Um, that's really it for my Mewtwo list. Um, since we had to cram in a lot of cards, I did have to sacrifice some of the switching cards. We do play one rope, two switch, four net, and one balloon. Um, I am playing a choice belt for final burn to do 330 against like Hiram and stuff, which is really important. Um, but let's go try the Mewtwo deck out on PCGO and uh, let's see if we can get some dubs with Mewtwo V Union and show off the Mewtwo V Union Lost Zone engine. All right, let's see what Mewtwo can do in this match here. We are going to hopefully get a good setup. No, we open up with just Sableye. Not much else really going on in the hand here. No battle VIPs or anything. But they are mulliganing, which does help us a little bit. Uh, at least we do have a Comfy out. I guess it's not too bad. We were playing against Arceus. Might be Arc Intel. This is definitely a matchup where we got to put this Mewtwo in play. So we can knock out two Arceus. All right, beautiful. Ooh, okay, really good. All right. Do we prize a Mewtwo piece? We did not, thank heavens. Let's go double Comfy. I was, eh, Greninja might have been good too, but I want to make sure we get two Comfies down. We'll open up with Comfy and do Comfy first. I'll grab Quick Ball. Yeah. And then we can Quick Ball, way Mewtwo, grab... Radiant Greninja. I might even, I honestly might even doing Crobat this turn too. That's one of the concealed cards activated. No, we get an Ultra Ball. Okay, that was a tough decision. What am I going to get rid of there? Go Crobat here. 
It's not a bad idea. I don't like the problem is I don't really know what they're playing. They're playing like an Arceus and Teleon decks, but I don't know. I, mean, I could just wait a turn too. I could hold on to the hand for a turn and just see where the rest takes us. It's like an Ultra Ball from Mewtwo piece. Yeah, I'll pass. I'll wait another turn. Is that debatable? Yeah, but it's fine. I'll wait one turn. It's not like we can't play a supporter anyways. Like, I don't know. We can wait a turn. Because I can get a Mewtwo piece with the Ultra Ball and then get a Crobat or something and draw like six cards and try to build up a huge hand and then maybe have a turn two, three Mewtwo going. That's the plan. They could Marnie me too, obviously. They might be playing Path also, so I don't want to play the Training Core because they may have Path of Peak in their deck, which is something we do have to watch out for too. So we can wait a turn. Uh, they Ultra Ball here. Get rid of Waters for Melanie. They grab Bidoof. But yeah, if I can set up Mewtwo, we should be chilling. Probably need Manaphy in this matchup. Ooh, they have Melanie to the Arceus. Probably gonna see that thing attack me turn two. Oh, or turn one. But no switch, thank heavens. Okay, that would have been pretty annoying if they got a knockout turn one. That was a good draw. You've gotta grab Mewtwo. See, it worked out though. Because see, now I can get even more Mewtwo pieces going. So let's net. Comfy again. Grab that. See, now we're in cruise control right now. Still need to find energy, though. Haven't seen one yet. Yeah, probably going to have to do Crobat here. It's fine. Do the ability to cram a Bidoof. It's not a bad idea. But I think it's fine. Because we're just trying to... We're just trying to get this Mewtwo in play as soon as possible. And we do have a turn two Mewtwo at the moment, so... Works out. Eh, I should have got rid of Sableye, actually, not the Mirage Gate. Yeah, whatever. Should be fine. Should have, yeah, should have got rid of the, should have kept the Mirage Gate. It's fine, we're going to Crobat. Hopefully they don't play any stadiums, that's my only other training court. And then we'll Crobat here for five. No Chorus still. But we do have Conceal cards. No Chorus still. Hmm. I've already used that Comfy 2, I think think or did i net it i can't remember hold on i gotta see if i netted that comfy or not um no i put it on the bench okay go into it grab that we don't need the peonia obviously in this matchup because we didn't prize any me two pieces so we're at five right now so i could cram this turn um i don't hate it go cram here it's not a bad idea could go guru too Primary Wisdom's decent. Yeah. So we can go net. Just hold the hand for next turn, right? That's kind of the idea. So let's training court. Net. Go into cram. Bench comfy. And I could rope into another comfy. I get another turn of comfy. But I can also hit this thing so we can knock out final burn. I'm cool with that. And then next turn, we can probably build Mewtwo up next turn if I can just find more Mirage Gates. So it's all good. Get damage on this so I can final burn it. Okay, they do get a Water Energy on. If only I held that other Mirage Gate. I am regretting that quite a bit because I should have held it because then I could have had the... Yeah, I should have held the Mirage Gate. Might get punished for it. I haven't played a Chorus yet, so I mean, it's not too bad. We can still find a Chorus at some point, which will be a big help for us. Oh, they're playing that Intellion. I thought they were going to be playing the Max Bullet one. Okay, that's fine. Can one shot that still? Does double gunner really matter? Nah, it depends if they're playing like Blastoise or something. That means they might actually be playing Training Court then over any other stadium. Are they gonna attack with Intelli on this turn? Oh, they do play Blastoise. Okay, that's fine. How many nets have I played? Ooh, I played three. They go Arceus. Do they have the V Star? No V Star here it would be pretty big. I might be able to do a Mewtwo sweep though. Judging from how this is going to go. I right, do they have the Mewtwo V-Star? Or the, the RC's V-Star. The Mewtwo V-Star. Bro, what am I saying? My brain is all over the place. Yeah, I guess Training Court's sticking. They don't have an Arceus. Okay, wow. That's good. I can't really use this rope because I got to have this Arceus in the active. Because we're going to try to pull out this attack. All right, let's Flower Select. Beautiful. Double Mirage Gate. I think it's perfect, right? Yeah, I think it's perfect. So we can go get Mewtwo, and then the fun begins. Look at that. Super fast Mewtwo. We haven't even played a Chorus yet, which is actually not bad. It helps if we get Marnied. Oh, but we don't 
Ooh, we still have to get cards in the Lost Zone, though. But we have Comfy. All right. I gotta scoot that up. Oops. Yeah, I screwed that. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I thought we already had the cards in the Lost Zone. It's all good, though. We just do this. No, we are missing the Water Energy. Look at that. That's fine. We'll conceal cards. Should check my prize a bit better. I missed Sequence this entire, entire game. That's fine, though. We can put back Cram. Get the Water back. It's all good. It works out. Because we can do this. Now I just have to move the Mewtwo. We have rope. Mewtwo can probably honestly carry it by itself, which is pretty good. Uh, we'll see what Chorus gets us. Yeah, beautiful. Grab Choice Belt. Which I don't really need Mirage Gate. I think it's better to just get Chorus, Choice Belt, and Net. Yeah, that's fine. So I did missequence that entire game plan, but it worked out in the end because we were close. I forgot we, we weren't quite there yet with the, uh, the stuff, but that's fine. We can just go, boop, final burn, you're dead. We'll hold on to the choice belt. I don't know what my opponent's playing. If I had Guru there, I could have put choice belt on top. All right, let's see what our prizes are. Quick ball is fantastic. Mana fee, cool. All right, let's see if my opponent can stop me. I don't think they can. I don't think they can because we've... I mean, bro, they didn't even get an Arceus. Well, they had an Arceus. They were dead anyways, but... If this thing only does 140. I have 310 HP. I don't know. We'll see. I guess they could two-shot me with, like, an Arceus, but all I have to do... they If I knock this out... I win with Sableye on Bibarel, right? Because we're at what? We're at four, nine. Yeah, literally, if I can just win. So what I can do, knock out Italian with Mewtwo, and then I just KO the Bibarel with Sableye. That's basically how I can win this game. This one Comfy on our bench, though, is looking pretty juicy for my opponent. I don't think they can take a five prize turn, though, or any shenanigans at the moment, though, so we're probably fine. But I don't even know if they're attacking me. They have to heal this thing. They have to have a Cheryl here. But if they Cheryl, then I have Choice Belt. If they Marnie, they die. So it's like, either way, this Inteleon is basically dead. Some other boss in the deck? I think it is, right? Yeah, the other boss is in there. So they Marnie. Unless it's prized, I can still find it. I don't see how they're stopping my Mewtwo, though. We just got a super fast Mewtwo V Union build up in a turn with Mirage Gate, and this Inteleon is dead. And I don't know how they're going to stop me, slash, if they can. Because it's not looking good. How are you going to deal with a Mewtwo that just KOs everything in your path? What they have to do this turn, they have to attack with Inteleon and then build up an Arceus in one turn next turn. Which could get them could get them there. But then I just win the game by Sableye and that Bibarel anyways. And let's say net that Bibarel, which would be fine. But I might have enough time, too, to just KO an Arceus V-Star. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. Nah, they just pass. Like, that's just like, yeah, that's basically game over. All right, let's conceal cards here real quick. Let me find boss or something. It doesn't really matter. Grab Guru, and then we can put, like, Sable on top of the deck. I don't know. Sure. It just gives us more wind con outs. Do I need to do anything else? Not really. Uh, you're dead. Game's basically over. Back-to-back <laughs> -back Mewtwo KOs. Like I said, I, th I figured Mewtwo would sweep. That is GG's. It, they can't win because I can just Psy Explosion next turn. And There's nothing they can bench that probably has more than three. Okay, boss was prized. They have nothing they can bench here that has more than 300 HP. I should have I should have actually took better care of my prizes there because I didn't know I prized two waters. I had the concealed cards rod anyways. It didn't really matter. But, yeah. It's all good, though. Either way, we got the dub. And we just showed off how good Mewtwo is with Mirage Gate. I don't see how they're stopping me. I actually... I really do like Inteleon right now, though, in all honesty. I think Double Gunner is actually kind of decent right now in the format. Mainly because of all the, the low HP Pokemon that do get benched. But, unfortunately, my opponent, when you're playing against... Mewtwo, it's kind of bad. Now, I guess if they were playing Big Charm plus Cheryl, the Inteleon would be pretty hard to deal with, but I think it's just GG's. I, bro, I think they've just gave up. They, they aren't even promoting a Pokemon here. I think my opponent's given up. They're like, yeah, yeah, I can't beat Mewtwo, and it's like, oh, I can't blame you. I mean, they can knock out my Comfy this turn on the bench, but, like, at what point does that even matter? It, it just, it doesn't. I should have put Switch on top of the deck instead of Sableye, because I might not be able to move Guru. Either way, though, if we get Marnie, we can draw any one of these cards. I don't know. I'm overthinking this. We'll see what they do. There's nothing they can do. They, as long as they have no way to KO Mewtwo, it's game over. Because I can just Psy Explosion here or Final Burn, whatever they have in the active spot, and it's just GG's. So, there you go. They've given up. Yep, there's the concede. See, Mewtwo with Mirage Gate is insane. Being able to build a Mewtwo with Mirage Gate is just pretty bananas. All right, let's try out Mewtwo here in the Lost Zone and see if we're able to get the deck going with how we want it. Now, we are going to be mulliganing here. Now, I haven't played a Lost bar, a lost Zone deck in a few days, and actually, there's been a lot of discourse online about what to do first in a scenario. Would you 
Comfy first or Culver's first. We're going to be trying that out today, hopefully. Uh, but it looks like we open up with Comfy anyways, so it doesn't look like we're going to get to the Culver's first anyways, because we don't have a Culver's. But if we draw a Culver's here, then we know we want to try to Culver's before we Comfy, which is kind of like what everyone's been saying online. So, you know, the more, the more you know. Um, now, we do have a okay hand. I can probably Crobat here. Well, Comfy first. Grab Comfy again. And then we can Ultra Ball here. Get rid of Rod and Mewtwo. We did prize a Mewtwo piece, which is annoying. Okay. Now, I don't know what I'm playing against. I'm not sure I'm going to need the Choice Belt, but I am going to do this. So I am going to go Crobat here. We're just going to draw cards. We're just going to draw cards here. We need to find Peonia. That's like the big thing. There's Chorus. There's Battle VIP, which is perfect. Grab Greninja. Grab Guru while we're at it. We'll conceal cards here. And then we'll Flower Select. Grab the Rod. That's pretty good. We can net again here. Go into the other Comfy again. Play Comfy again. Grab the Chorus, I guess. Should probably not put too many energy in the Lost Zone, though. It's a good idea. Put Chorus on top. And then we'll just pass. All right. Pretty good turn one. We only got... We got two pieces in there, which is good. Um, unfortunately... Oh, we're playing against Jolteon. So we definitely want to get Mewtwo in play. Mewtwo can just sweep Jolteon because it can one-shot them, which is pretty good. Now, the problem is they need to take prizes, though to find Mewtwo, or I need to draw my Peonia. I don't have Peonia at the moment. This list does not play Lumineon. Um, so, eh, could get awkward. Definitely could get a little awkward. We'll see, but if we can get, like, an early knockout or two on Sobbles, like, that'd be good. I just want to make sure I'm getting prizes here so I can play the thing. Oof, they had a research. I was hoping they would soon keep calling there. They lose a Lost City. That's good. They didn't... Actually, I'm surprised they didn't play the Stadium. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't put Lost... I mean, I guess it's because it does power up my... My Mirage Gate, but... Yeah. Thank you for the concealed cards. All right, maybe if we can draw hot enough, I can just Moonlight Shuriken here and get two prizes, which might be ideal, considering that we need to get prizes to find ourselves the... Uh, we need to find ourselves the... Uh, the Mewtwo piece out of the prizes because prizing me two piece really sucks and my opponent unfortunately did find a jolteon i was hoping they wouldn't but here we are we did find the jolteon which is really bad and again in order for us to do our thing we need it what we get mewtwo in play we just go final burn knockout final burn knockout we just take out two jolteons we win the game it's pretty straightforward so our win condition is really good but we prized our win condition which really sucks so it just kind of makes it more awkward on us so, let's conceal cards again. We'll see if we can find off this one. Okay, we got Air Balloon, which is good. We can Comfy. Grab Manaphy, of course. Not grabbing Boss. Grab the Manaphy. We will... My Switch is at the Chorus. No Peonia today. We'll grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Yeah, I'm going to need all the power I can get here. We're going to have to grab these three. It's fine, though. We can Training Court here. And then Ultra Ball. Unfortunately, we don't have the other Mewtwo piece. Or else we would have had, we would have had Mewtwo in play. Peonia is in the deck. We need to find it, though. Got no... Uh, I didn't get a net or anything there, which is kind of annoying. All right, let's retreat. Comfy again. There's a net. We'll grab that. I need to be a little careful with my quick ball, so I need to make sure I'm holding on to a quick ball or an ultra ball. So then we can not so we can discard a Mewtwo piece when the time comes. Netting here doesn't really do anything. Hmm. I could do Greninja though. And I could do the Greninja play I wanted to do, knock out two Sobbles. Could also knock out two goons, so I definitely think we KO the double Sobble. So let's do it. Yeah, I think we definitely want to go Greninja here. Because we need to find that Mewtwo out of the prizes. And this is the best way to probably find it. Um, put that on top. 
There's Quick Ball. Okay. No Moonlight Shuriken. All right. Good KO. Can we get Mewtwo out of the prizes is going to be the main question here. Will we find in the Mewtwo V Union out of the prizes? Let's see. Nope. Battle VIP is not it. Escape Rope is also not it. Dang it. Rope's okay, but I don't have a way to, like, I could rope here. If they bench Shoal Tank, I go rope and then, like, Crammer Ant KOs, whatever. I do still have Sableye. My opponent has six. Yeah, we'll see. I guess one thing to note, though, is if we ever get Mewtwo in this matchup, I can literally do Union Gain. I don't even know the Mirage game because Jolteon does, like, no damage. Bro, I could just Union Gain here and it would work out all the same. My opponent, unfortunately, did have the VMAX and the badge and the energy in hand. I was hoping they wouldn't. Because I took out two of their shady dealings to make it hard on them. But unfortunately, my opponent drew the nuts, apparently, and just has the KO. I mean, what are they going to Jolteon? I guess they hit Crobat, I guess. That's fine. I don't mind them knocking me out here because... Well, I need to still bench Manaphy, though. I was hoping they would take two prize, actually. Hmm. I could probably do another Greninja, though. Take two more prizes. At this point, like, yeah, it's probably likely. Um, let's do this. Conceal cards. We tr can try to find the uh, the Greninja play here. It's going to find a Mirage Gate. There should be one in there. Play two, right? There's two down? Yeah, I've only played two. So, we'll see. All right. So I could Rod here. I don't want to put cards back yet, though. So we're going to Chorus. Can I find Mirage Gate? Yeah, there we go. Grab these three. And then we will Rod, get back Manaphy. And then we'll put back Water and Psychic. So yeah, I'm probably going to, if I ever get Mewtwo, I'm going to have to Union gain it into play. That's fine, though. Keep the energy in the deck. For the other Mirage Gate, sure. Because there's a world where we don't, where we draw that, so it's fine. Primate Wisdom. In case we get, eh, no, I should have, well, it doesn't really matter. Let's put Quick Ball on top. I don't think it matters if I put it on top of the deck. Well, I need to do this anyway, so we need a Thin. You got Manaphy. I almost forgot to get Manaphy. So that doesn't really matter what I put in the deck there. All right. Moonlight Shuriken. Greninja might just win the game by itself. Now, they're going to kill my Greninja. Can I find the Mewtwo out of the prizes, though? If I get Mewtwo here, the chances we win the game this turn are... Or the chance we can win are very high. I need to find Mewtwo. Can I find it? Nope. No, bruh. Okay. If we do not get Marnie here or Roxanne, I have the Peonia to find the Mewtwo. That's a shame that we didn't find it there, though. That is quite the shame. Damn, bro. The last two prizes are Mewtwo. It, all, it do be like that sometimes. It do be like that. All right, do they have a Marnie or Roxanne? If they do, I'm a little shook. Nope. Okay. So we can just Union gain here, like I said. That's probably going to be the play. Do we draw the energy? No. Okay, cool. It doesn't really matter. We don't have a way to get it out. All right, let's Peonia. I wonder what my last prizes are. Could it be Mewtwo and a Switch? Oh, yeah, it is. Look at that. That's crazy. Who would have guessed? All right, that's fine. So yeah, like I said, we can union gain. Jolteon does like no damage. So we can just sit here and union gain energy onto Mewtwo, which is probably perfect. So yeah, we can just go here. They can't win this turn. There's no way they're carrying on my Mewtwo, I don't think. So we can just do this. Training Court, the Psychic back. And then we can put Boss on top of the deck, I guess, just in case they try to, like, I don't know. Oh, and they try to retreat. And then we'll just union gain. And then next turn, we have game. And that's basically GG's. Would have preferred to, like, Mirage Gate to Mewtwo. But, again, Mewtwo being, like, the last prize didn't really help. But there should be checkmate. I don't see how my opponent can stop me here. Um, they can try to, but I don't think they can really do much about it. Like, yeah, there's nothing they can do. There's, they have to go into Galarian Goon. I hope I don't have a boss in the deck. That's basically their only plan. Or Roxanne me. And, nope, they just maxed under Rumble. They now just accept the loss, I guess. So we can just do this. And attach. And final burn. And that's GG's. 
Mewtwo winning the game, not in the way we wanted to win. We, you know, we want to get Mewtwo in play, you know, before we, you know, we take a prize, no peace or prize. But sometimes when you need a prize of peace, you got to improvise. And that's why we got the Greninja in the deck. That's why we have Cram, Sableye, which we didn't even use. It was mostly just Greninja, which took a bunch of prizes, which we'll take. The Mana Fee was really helpful, though, also. All right, we are going to try out the deck here again. And, ooh, this hand is looking good. If I can draw an energy here, we got concealed cards on our side, which is good. This hand is not too bad, though. I like seeing battle VIP passes in my starting hand here. Um, and there's a chorus. Don't know what we're really playing against, though. It's the only question. I right, grab Greninja. We have all the Mewtwo pieces. We can grab Comfy Greninja. We'll battle VIP again. Probably just for Guru. We'll Quick Ball away the Mewtwo piece. Grab a Comfy. Play Comfy. Grab Mirage Gate. Sure. No energy, unfortunately. Could do Prime Wisdom, obviously. We'll bench Cram, Prime Wisdom, Chorus on top, and then we'll see what see what's gonna happen next turn. Two more Mirage Gates. Now my opponent opens up with a Galarian Corsola, so I have no idea what this is. I have no idea what this is. There's a heavy ball. I mean, we're not really playing any Vs. If they're trying to, like, use, like, some weird curseless strategy, we have... Uh, we don't really play any V Pokemon. It's really just Mewtwo, obviously. It's not like Mewtwo can, like, really be, like, stopped or anything. I think Mewtwo's ability is pretty helpful in this matchup. Well, it depends. If they're playing the Feigning Spell Cursla, that's annoying. But we can just attack with Cram or Sableye, which may bypass it. Or even Mewtwo's Size Explosion Attack bypasses it. We'll see how fast we can get this Mewtwo V Union into play. Um... Honestly, I wouldn't hate getting Marnie. I don't really want to lose these Mirage Gates because like, they're good to have when we get Mewtwo. But, you know, it does give us more cards to work with. So we'll see. We'll see. Oh, they're netting. They're probably just going to Gormandize here, I imagine. That's fine, though. We don't mind Gormandize while we sit back and do our thing. Snorlax going to be kind of cool to play in this deck, too. You just have to move Comfy at the end of your turn. But I don't think you really need it, though. I considered playing Pokestop and Trekking Shoes, too, in this deck. Um, but... Conceal Cards Training Cord is also really good, so, I don't know. You pick your poison. All right, let's see what they do here. Yep, there's a Marnie. They are going to Marnie me after all, which I'm fine with. Again, like, we can get those Mirage Gates back at a later date. This does give us three new cards to work with here, which can equal switching and stuff. Oh, yeah. So that was a pretty good Marnie. Nice. That was a really good Training Cord to get off that path, at that Marnie then. I don't know what they're playing, though. It's my only question, as we'll find out. Because once we get the Mewtwo in play, I feel like we'll be unstoppable. I don't know, like, my opponent isn't really giving you any vibes of having some crazy attacker, and I feel like I'll be unstoppable if I can get this Mewtwo going. So let's Chorus. Um, grab that. Grab that. We'll grab the Rope, too. Roping my opponent here is pretty good, actually. Um, we'll Comfy. Grab Rod. Hopefully I don't regret that, in before they're playing a Bench Sniper. We'll go Training Court. Conceal Cards. Let's see what Conceal Cards has for me. Okay. Nice. We'll net. Comfy again. Grab Sableye. It's fine. We can put a couple energy in the Lost Zone. We can rope. I'm going to Comfy. And then Comfy again. It's another water in the Lost Zone. Can we afford to put another water in there? I think I'd rather the Mewtwo piece. We'll make do without it. We could probably Union gain too. Nah, hopefully I don't regret that. So I'm not sure I'm going to be using Greninja, right? So we'll grab Mewtwo. We'll get another Mewtwo piece going in the discard pile here while we're at it. Do this. Grab you. Play the training court. Can I retreat? Yeah, I think I can. I think I can retreat another Comfy. We'll go ahead and do that. Put that on top. We already use Comfy. I, bro, I, I'm losing track of my Comfies. <laughs> I'm losing track of these Comfies here. I, oh, I already used it. So I should have went Cram. Not that it, well, yeah, Cram, I should have went Cram. They play Net, though. Cram not getting a KO would have been, yeah, I don't know. That kind of sucks. I don't know. For some reason, that, that turn was so long, I forgot that I already used that Comfy. I mean, that'll, that'll happen. <laughs> Again, I'm just hoping that having the Water Energy Prize isn't a big deal. But I might be just using Size Explosion over Final Burn anyways. They're playing a lot of low HP Pokemon. Final Burn is better than Size Explosion. So it should be fine. Mm, they're playing Ditto. That's fine. Hmm. Yeah, they're playing Ditto. That's fine, though. 
Ooh, they get another path to peak. That is really annoying. All right, sure. Can they move the Guru this turn, though, is the question. They could Marty me again. Marty would be annoying because I don't want to lose this training court. We'll see, though. I did put Mewtwo piece on top of the deck, so we draw the Mewtwo piece. Meowth is in the discard, though. It's the only problem. We do have two pieces in there. We're close. We're getting very close to getting this Mewtwo in play. If I get this thing in play ASAP, we'll be in cruise control. We found a net. All right, whatever. If I can get Mewtwo in play, maybe if I can pull it off this turn, I can potentially go after that Ditto with a Psy Explosion if all goes well. We'll see if all does go well. What am I cramming this thing either? They researched. They're not going to Marty me again. They researched. They had a Marty in their hand too, and they didn't play it. We're going to see how many Path of Peaks they play. If they play like three, we're in trouble. Okay, there's Trekking Shoes getting played. They get rid of Mimikyu. They're playing Shedinja, I'm pretty sure. This is a Shedinja Ditto deck, I think. Which, I mean, we can beat. But again, we just got to get Mewtwo in play. It is beatable, though. The help of Sableye and Mewtwo should make this matchup pretty fine, to be honest. Yeah, cramming the, the Guru wouldn't have done anything there. They would have netted it. Yeah. That was a little misplay by retreating, but eh, it shouldn't really matter too much, hopefully. Well, it might. We'll see. We're down four energy right now. I think we have six left. Did I play ten? Anyway, hopefully we can get Mewtwo going this turn. That's the plan. The plan is to get Mewtwo in play this turn to set up the Mewtwo play. And then we can pop off, hopefully. There's an Ultra Ball getting played. Okay. They go to a boss. Cool. Yeah, are they playing Shedinja is my question. Like, what are they playing? What are they playing? As, like, are they playing, like, Spirit Mask or something? Yeah, there's Shedinja. That was a Shedinja. I know you couldn't see that because I was looking on the discard pile, but that was indeed a Shedinja. Um... Actually, you can't even see that because my webcam is blocking it. But yeah, that, it was a Shedinja. Okay. Let's see what we draw here. It's the Mewtwo piece. I don't know why I said that. All right. Comfy. Or Crobat, I guess. I don't think I'm going to use it, though. We'll retreat. Comfy. Grab that. Okay, we can go Training Court. This might be our last time to use Training Court, though, which is kind of annoying. I right, conceal cards here. What do we got? Boss is good. So I can at least take prizes with Cram. Which is fine with me. Maybe I do bench the Mewtwo. Or the Crowback. Because I do want to try to... I do want to try to... Draw cards here. Because I have Ultra Ball. If I can maybe draw like another discarded card, I can potentially pull off this Mewtwo. Let's go Net the Comfy. Go into Cram. Boss the Ditto. We will... Alright, we'll do this. We'll Ultra Ball away Comfy Mewtwo. Grab Mewtwo piece number two. Crowback for three. Can I find a quick ball? Yep, I do. Let's go. All right. We got the Mewtwo, which is great. Mewtwo's been established. Could go into Mewtwo now. Not really much of a point, though. Yeah, I don't really want to put it in play just yet. We'll just put the Mirage Gate on top of the deck so we can draw that. We don't have a way to move Cram, so let's just spit innocently. Next turn, we'll go for it. We'll just take a cheeky little prize here. Maybe we'll get something good. Nope. We got a battle VIP pass. Just what the doctor ordered. It's all good. We got Mirage Gate on top of the deck. We still have, I think we have three courses. So we're chilling. We're chilling. We're in a good spot. We're in a good spot still. Next turn, we can go Mewtwo and start Psy Explosioning, targeting these Dittos. And I don't know what they're going to do after that. Or I can just boss Ditto again and knock it out with Cram. Feels kind of cheesy, but I could literally just do that if I wanted to. So if they don't Marty me, maybe I'll just do a, do a knock it on uh, Ditto. Now, really hoping we do not see a Path of the Peak come down for my opponent again. We might, though. This is why I kind of like doing the Crobat there. Yeah, okay, they don't have it. Nice. They just drew the card they put on top. Lol. All right, we can do this. Conceal cards. Draw some cards here. Okay, and two Mirage Gate. So I can go Mewtwo here and Psy Explosion. Which, you know what? I think it's time to use it. They haven't taken any prizes yet. I can't think of a better time to go Mewtwo, to be honest. Let's do Mirage Gate number one. Now we got three energy in there. Perfect. Yeah, we're just going to Psy Explosion here, I think. We'll do Colrus. See if I can find a switching card. There we go. Grab these three. We have two cards left in the deck. Jeez, I wasn't even paying attention. That's actually kind of crazy. Well, then. Put Rod on top. Sure. And then we will size Splosion. Now, unfortunately, 
I don't know. We can take out both dittos. What am I saying? I'm like, unfortunately, we can't kill both dittos. That's 140. I was thinking Sableye numbers. Oh, yeah. We can kill both dittos. That's pretty insane. Let's go. Knock both dittos out. I don't know how they can win now. I mean, as long as they can't build up a ditto in one turn. Sh well, even if they should injure me, I can literally just heal 200 damage with my regeneration attack. So I don't... Yep. And they just... Yeah, yeah. Mewtwo's insane with Mirage Gate, as you can see. Super fast Mewtwo, thanks to Lost Zone Engine. And we just control the match there, basically. And my opponent really couldn't do anything. There you have it. That is it for the Mewtwo Lost Zone deck. As you can see, being able to put a Mewtwo V-Union into play through the Lost Zone engine is actually pretty easy to do. And having access to Mirage Gate to build up a Mewtwo is really good. This list is what I've been rocking with. I've been liking it personally. I have seen other takes on this engine. Some lists play Pokestop and Trekking Shoes. I actually ran into it on the ladder while I was streaming. And I do like that idea. I think there's other ways you can try to approach this deck. I also think maybe a one of Luminion could be pretty good in this deck also. But overall, I really like the fun fundamentals of this idea and being able to put Mewtwo into play with the Lost Zone is pretty good and you can play with all the other V-Unions by the way including Greninja and Pikachu so I might have to do a video on those two at some point but I do like the deck a lot Mewtwo V-Union does go pretty hard and it does pretty well in this deck and uh yeah building up with Mirage Gate is insane so yeah if you all enjoyed the video if you make sure to leave a like on the video if you're new to the channel subscribe down below help me on the road to reaching 34,000 subs I want to thank you all for all the support and growth on the channel over the past little bit with the Lost Origin content. I've been actually having a blast with Lost Origin. I haven't gotten burnt out yet, fingers crossed, and jinxed it. I haven't gotten burnt out with Lost Origin content. There's a lot of fun decks to look at, which I am loving. And I am really liking these Lost Zone videos. Some of y'all might get sick of the Lost Zone videos, but I'm having a lot of fun with them. So it is what it is. Because the Lost Zone engine just opens up for so many fun ideas and fun combos and strategies. And I just love it. And that's, in my opinion, what the TCG should be about. Other than just play, play Arsu with, with V and then play Palkia, you know, so, yeah, check out Shuffle Squad down below, uh, check out Car Kevin down below, too, if you get any codes, use codes, yeah, check out my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Discord server, should be a new podcast episode going out, or should be already a new podcast episode out already, actually, as I make this, so definitely do not miss out on that, and I will catch y'all later, bye-bye.